Hello YouTube and welcome to your first Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 tutorial and today we will be making your first app the Hello World app. Uh, this is my first tutorial for Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 I just learned um, a lot of C++ recently so I decided to start teaching um, the people who subscribe to my channel for my .NET tutorials and um, if you like this go ahead and subscribe and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start the tutorial. So come up to the top and go to File, New, Project, and we'll just name it um, YouTube Hello World. Make sure you select Win32 Console Application. Click OK. Click Next. And make sure you check Empty Project then click finish and we're ready to start so by checking empty project we start completely from scratch and um, nothing's made for you so you can start learning um, immediately what to do so you're going to see over here on the right you're going to have your uh, solution explorer and you can see external dependencies header files resource files and source files um, you don't really need to know what those are for now but um, later on you'll need to know what they are so just go ahead and um, select source files right click it click add new item and you want to select uh, C++ file a CPP and just name it whatever you want I'll name mine hello world and you can see it right there and you can see that it's empty we have it open right there and then there's a toolbox we don't need that so here's hello world CPP and this is where we're going to be typing our code and um, if you don't know, we're going to be running the program that we make inside of the command prompt. So we're not going to be making a window for it. Um, this is just to help beginners, because when you start making windows and stuff, then you got to know you got to know a lot more. So go ahead and start out just making stuff that runs in command prompt. So up at the top, you're going to pound include and then IO stream. Now you need this in all of your projects. You always want to include IO stream. And then for this we're going to include conio.h. And you'll see what that's used for later. Um, you don't have to have it in all of your projects, but uh, you'll need it for this one. And then right underneath that, you're going to type using namespace standard. And uh, you'll need that in all your projects too. So come down, down below, and we're going to start off by making our main method. Now if you know any .NET, then um, this shouldn't be real foreign to you, and you should be able to pick it up right away and learn. So we start off, start off by making it void, um, which means it's not going to return anything. Um, you could make it an int, too. You can make it int main, but then you would have to you would have to um, inside of your brackets at the very end you'd have to type return zero because when you make it your main method an integer then it has to return a value um, because it's an integer now if, if you make it void it means it's not returning anything so we'll just do that type void main and then just come down below that go ahead and start off by typing C out hello you YouTube and then in line and then down below here we're going to type underscore get now basically what this does is it will do the same thing as system pause now if you know any command prompt commands like you make batch files or use the command prompt a lot you'll know that pause um, just pauses the program and then when you press enter it um, it'll continue on with it so instead of just typing system pause we type get which means get character and this will just um, stop the program and keep it from closing right after it says hello YouTube so if we don't put that in there and run it, 
you can see that you probably didn't see that but the um, the window just pops up and then goes away instantly like that right there I'll run it again see so when you type get character and you run it wait for it to compile it'll say hello YouTube and it'll pause the program and then when you press enter it closes out so that's what you need conio.h for because without including conio.h you cannot use get character um, so this is a real simple tutorial um, very basic um, easy for beginners so go ahead try this you can change a bunch of things um, and in the next tutorial we'll start working with variables and uh, just one little trick before we leave you can use system and parentheses with quotations inside to do um, simple command prompt commands so um, whatever you c would be able to use inside of the command prompt as a command you can do it by um, typing system and then whatever you want inside of your quotation marks so if we type color FC and we run it you see we get a white background with red text so that's just a cool little trick and if you notice that unlike um, Visual Basic in C++ you have to have a, a semicolon after every line which is used in most programming languages except for .NET so get used to that and that is what a lot of errors come from when you're programming C++ most of your errors are going to come from messed up brackets or forgetting these so always remember those and um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial don't forget to comment like and subscribe